Ben Lyons hanging out with Orrin right here at Meze. He's the leader of the new cool. Where did the idea for Chernobyl Diaries begin? It, it actually started just when I discovered, a, I learned about the city of Pripyat, which is the abandoned town right next to Chernobyl. So, there's this place called Pripyat, the town right next to Chernobyl. Yuri, who is very excited to take us there, <laughs> is an extreme tour guide. He's gonna show us this city that was abandoned overnight. The, the photos and the videos were so, you know, haunting and, and fascinating and, and scary. I thought this would be a great setting for a horror movie. You guys have done three paranormal movies. Do you see yourself continuing with the franchise? You no, know, when I did the first paranormal activity, I never thought there would be a second one or a third one or a fourth one. So it's, it never does you any good to think, you know, more than one movie ahead. So, I heard stories about how Steven Spielberg really helped you out with paranormal. He saw the movie and, and he was really scared by it and he loved it. So he supported. So from the very beginning, he was a great supporter of the movie. And as a fan of movies, that just must mean the world to that, that's insane to think. I mean, if I if I thought that Steven Spielberg just heard of me or saw my movie and hated it, I would be like, oh my God, Steven Spielberg saw my movie. That's that's amazing. <laughs> what else uh, about the, the cast of uh, of Chernobyl do you really enjoy when you're assembling a cast as a producer for something like this? Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? So what we ended up doing is during the audition process, we didn't even have them read lines. We didn't tell them what the scenes are going to be when they're coming in. They didn't even know what the movie is about. So they would just sit down and would make up some you know fake scenario like uh, you're now in a subway and there was an earthquake and you're stuck. Like, okay, go. Are there always like good looking people? That's just an accident. So that just happens by accident? What's yeah. up with that? It's always a group of friends, unsuspecting, and they're like supermodels. Well, I, I think it, it makes it easier to enjoy a movie when the people are not horrendous looking. <laughs> Anytime I sit down with a writer, producer, director, I always like to get your guys' take on advice for young filmmakers. If the people watching this right now who have dreams of being in the movie business, what would you say to them? The specific advice that I would give is, I don't think Paranormal Activity would have been a success if it weren't for Katie and Mika. And getting a good cast or a bad cast is the one thing that can make or break a low budget movie. So don't just cast your friends or yourself. Find really the best people for the job. I like it. Nice to see you. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right.